There you go. Okay. All right. Yeah. 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 Um, so uh, I'll start off with my my dad. Yeah. My dad is a Elliot. Uh, was born in. Uh, over, I'm I'm assuming it's over by Flagstaff because right? he talks about a hospital, right? Hospital, and. Um, he said uh, when when he was born, his his um, mother passed away, so he never knew his mother. Three days later, his father passed away, so he didn't know his father also. And nobody was at the hospital other other than you know uh, mother and father that knew, but now gone. Uh, a, a month later a clan grandfather comes by uh, because the doctors were saying this child is born with one eye and uh, that were only one eye that worked. <clears throat> but the clan grandfather says, I'll, I'll take care of him. I'll, I'll raise him. So, and, and, and uh, the reason why I want to tell you that is because uh, sometimes we're, we're, we are born into a very difficult situation. And uh, many people have gone through various ways that that uh, they know they themselves would know the difficulty. And one of the reasons why I wanted to tell you this is because uh, my dad became a medicine man at, at 13 years old, full-fledged medicine man, could give a whole a whole uh, uh, medicine man or, or ceremony. Uh, and, and they took 10 people, 10 medicine men to come together and they call it jish meaning they're uh, being, having, having a jish tied for him. And uh, of course, the, the 10 that were there, several of them kind of questioned, you know, this little boy, he's kind of young, you know, <laughs> well, well, I don't think he knows everything that we know kind of thing. Uh, but the grandfather just stepped right up and said, you ask him questions. And so they ask him all these questions. And guess what? Every single question, he answered those questions. And so all they could do is, yep, let's tie the bundle for him. So that from that day forward, he became a full-fledged medicine man. Uh, always, the grandfather always told him, you, you can have anything you want in your life. Uh, by the things that you know. Uh, you don't have to go herding sheep. You don't have to have horses or garden or, you know, through this ceremony, people can give you things that would help you in your life. And so he believed it. And that's how he began his journey. Uh, he passed away about two years ago uh, down in Tuba City. And from there, we... we um, <clears throat> Uh, 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 you know, when when you have somebody like that, that's like your family member or father, uh, you wish you would spend have spent more time with him. But I think there's a, a blessing in disguise. You know, one time I was saying this just beauty way of life. A lot of people re re refer to it as the beauty way of life. And uh, my dad, uh, uh, he would say. Is a blessing way. So in his mind, he thought of it as a, a blessing way, a cherished way, a, a way to receive knowledge greater than anything man would know. Okay. And so he calls it the blessing way. And I'm, I'm, I'm kind of following that idea tonight that the journey that we're going to take tonight is based on the spiritual journey. All right. And I, uh, another one time I was listening to uh, another presenter, and he just came right out and he says, "Yat e no ka diyendene na bai, no ka diyendene na bai, no ka diyendene na bai. No ka means on the earth. 
Digging the net means a holy being, a spiritual being. Not by that means you 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 are a warrior, a warrior. And he referred it to all people that were listening in. He didn't say just the Navajos or this this group of people or he says on the earth's surface. We're all spiritual giants. We're all spiritual people. So based on that, I want you to understand that let's go right to the center of our our low wheel or our basket that we're all aware of. A lot of you that are here probably already aware. But right in the middle is what we call the emergence, right in the middle. And that's what the main thing I want to talk about is right in the middle. There's a black world, there's a blue world, there's a yellow world, and the white world. And I believe that if we zero in on the colors, like the black, the, the, the blue, and the yellow, the colors bring knowledge, understanding of things. And when you begin, there's three things that happen when you become knowledgeable of things. Number one, you know, okay? You don't really ask that many more questions anymore. Number two, you begin to practice some things that you believe in that comes from that knowledge. And number three, you begin to uh, understand that, that I gotta share this. I gotta share it with the young or the elders or whoever that comes my way because I feel a knowledge and a practice that I've been doing and now I wanna say this works, this really works. And that's kind of where you begin to be your own journey. See, my dad, I can't never be like my father, the medicine man. But I can gain knowledge. And at some point, I can form my own foundation in my own way. And that's kind of where I am right now. It took me a little while. But this is where I am. And so I call this the blessing way of life by Clayton. And I call you that holy being. And so I want you to know that the 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 the, the black, the 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 blue and the and the and the yellow, that is a path. It's an upward, you call it the emergent story. It's the creation story, the emergent story, just like a plant we're growing. At first we might be, have been a seed, and then we grow out of the ground. And so I, I want you to think of yourself as a spiritual growing individual, which means when we're born here and we start, we start figuring out things with our family, we all know ourselves. We all just see things. We all hear things. We all taste things. We all kind of touch things. But we just know by these senses. But the, the inside, the part that you don't see, the part that your spiritual being, that comes later. You begin to understand there's something who you really are kind of idea. And so this is kind of like the spiritual warrior. And I want you to think of yourself as a spiritual warrior path. And I want you to think of us as a growing experience in your life. And I want you to understand that the emergent story is there's a first world, second world, third world, fourth world. And in that you growing, you're growing development. Maybe you haven't come on the earth surface per person. You haven't really, at, at first you're saying you got all these senses. At some point you begin to understand there, there's a real self. The real self comes. We got to merge to be our real true self. And that's the part that I want to share with everybody that's listening. And, I, and I, even though I record this, I'll be able to send it off to many people. And so the first one is kind of like the black world. And if you can think in terms of the four direction, the black world was called Sihasin. And if we could say, Sihasin is like our foundation here, Sihasin in, in the emergent world. And that first world says, you got to believe, you got to have faith. You got to have faith in good things, okay? And there's also the op opposite side. And that's how earth life is. We see both. We see the good and the bad. And we kind of have a choice, this or this. And sometimes we can't get away from one because you want to be the other, but you can't. 
somehow something holds us back. But when we were small, when we were little guys, everything was exciting. Mom was good. Dad was good. Animals were good. Everything seemed to be so good. You believe that this is good stuff, right? The food you ate, the water you drank, the, the sightseeing that everybody's saying, look at that, look at that nice you know, bird or animal of some kind. They all, everybody was telling you, this is good. This is good, you know? And that vision that you receive, you believed in because it says to you, this is you, this is you, you're good, you're good, you're good. Believe in it, always think good, always think good. And, and, and somehow we kind of got all kind of a little bit mixed up because we, we saw that there's also the opposite. But we kind of kept coming back to this base. Something's telling me, something's letting me know that there's something that's still, still I, I'm still part of this. That, that's good. And, and then we, we began to believe that we have, we're on a journey. And somebody says, you're a spiritual person. And somebody said, you, need, you can't just sit. Because if you sit, then you kind of like you stop growing. <laughs> and so somebody says, there's, there's a concept called be proactive. Meaning you have the power, you have the way to think, feel, and you have a way to move forward, a movement, a move. You can move. And it's way better to begin to say, I'm growing, changing. And to be part of this change is this blue world. The blue world says we're going to transform, just like a butterfly understands that he's got to transform into something good, better. And, and the only way you can do that is if you decide, i I'm going to leave these other things alone and just, just decide to believe in the good constantly. I, I have to be worthy to be able to say that I'm, I'm my real self needs to be good all the time. And if you remember the winners Chini story, they, oh, they, come, they come out of the ground. And, and, and the winners Chini was a real person back in the first world. He says, someday I will be the one that helps the group, the people, someday. And you know what? When, when the, in, the, in the third world, when HGD came forward and said, it's time, I will be the one that leads the people to the fourth world. And so he did that. And he even sacrificed himself, yeah. He sacrificed himself. He's, in the fourth world, there's a group of people that he, they, they, they met and they tested him. They, they said, if you're, if you're going to, um, if you're going to come into this world, we have to see, see what I can do. I can take this, you know, and, 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 and the person put something down their throat and, 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 and zipped it out to the, the other side, you know, and down uh, through his extremities and out to where the waste comes out. And uh, he says, if you can do that, to the Winnish Chidi. And he says, if you can do that, you can, you can come in, you can be part of this world. Winnish Chidi just took up the, took, he, he's, been, been, he's been preparing all these time, all these years, whatever he could do to save or to help people. He, he was the one that says, I'll do it. And so he did it. He went down the throat, came out the other end. And then he didn't stop there. He, he says, okay, let me show you something. And so he went to the side, went through his heart and pulled the thing back out this way. And he says, can you do that? <laughs> to the person in the fourth world. And he, and, and he proved himself that he was worthy to be part of this fourth world. And so the people were, were able to come into the fourth world. All right. So anyway, we, we have a right, we have a way, we can be worthy. And, and transformation means hey, there's something inside me that says, I'm gonna be a certain individual, a greater self, 
just like the one I showed you, I have a cause, I have a purpose, I have, I just know that I'm supposed to be helping something or someone. And I gotta figure that out. I gotta know how to, to, to do it. And, it. and when the danger comes, I know how to take care of it. But when, when the cause or the purpose comes, I know how to proceed. And that's all of us, every single bird, every spiritual warrior is on this path. And so transforming is, is a good concept. The third, the third world is the yellow world. And there, when we have a belief that's strong as a base, and when we transform into doing things that are always kind of okay or right, good, I have a reason to, to move forward, we begin to say, aha, the third one is the word connection. In, 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 uh, if you remember the, the, yellow, the, the yellow of the four direction, uh, that, that one was called uh, Ina. You become connected to Ina, the, the things of this world. And so you're, you're talking about things like there's the mountain, there's the animals, there's the water, there's the sky, there's the mother earth and father sky. All these things become connection with you. Your family becomes a connection beyond your family, extended family. Beyond that, you have what you call the clan. So anybody that's a look, uh, I connect instantly, become a brother, and look at uh, then or a sister, and then all of a sudden another group becomes my part of my family. Those are my fathers, ashini uh, bashishin, and then all of a sudden another group. <laughs> There's a son, my grandparents, <clears throat> my grandfather. And then another one on my father's side, a um, kappa. And so we got all these different groups. We become connected, come connected. And each one of them, when we come connected, we become like one. We become like I love, I, I cherish, I understand. I We like to help one another, you know. And anytime somebody is struggling, we try to go over there. And, and we learn from each other. So connection, we call it ke. Ke is so powerful. Ke can serve us for the rest of our lives. Each of these concepts like faith, we gotta have it all the, way, the rest of our lives. Transforming, we gotta change constantly, constantly. Ke is the same way. We have to get to know, because if you don't get to know very many people, you're not gonna grow. You got, you, the only way to grow is if we keep figuring out how to connect to more people, more people. And a lot of times you can also connect to, to uh, spiritual things, all right? Because you're, first of all, your, your head has, has things that they, it, it wants to connect to, your heart wants to connect to other things. And then your spirit and your body also wants to connect. Your body's already experiencing a lot of things but maybe your spirit is kind of hungry. It's saying, okay, know who you are, know who you are. Uh, know that there's an inside person in here that wants to tell you about things or wants to learn or wants to help you develop things. You know, there's a, there's a thing that is inside that keeps gnawing at you. And, and so uh, it, the people, are, they're kind of like your leaders. Is eh, Somebody said every person is 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 my leader, and you, you have to figure out a way to talk to, to 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 learn about other people. Even though they might be struggling, even though they might be kind of gleaning all the bad, somehow you feel like this person is still a part of. You can connect with them, all right, and that's how we help each other. And the more people you know, uh, research today says. The more people you know today, you're, you, you, you don't have to be uh, uh, like, they say that as you grow, uh, grow older, you forget things. No, the only thing that's stopping that is growing. If you're not growing, you are, you are your cell, your brain cells are going. But if you're connecting, if you're changing, if you believe, if you try new things, they say that your brain cells are always growing, developing, changing, just like the plant, it's always growing. 
And so uh, uh, I, I think that there's a way to, to um, build a, a remembrance, a, a growing mind. Yeah. And, and it has to, has to do with connections. The last area of this warrior journey, of this sp spiritual person journey, is uh, uh, a story about Nilche uh, Iltsese. Nilche Iltsese is an actual being that cares for every single person. And, and to the Navajos, it was a story about the leadership, you know, when in the third world, there, everybody recognized that there's a whole bunch of us, you know, there's a whole bunch of us. We should have a leader. We can't just all decide to, you know, not have a leader. And so they all came together and they all said, okay, who wants to be a leader? And, and the bear, he's the one that says, me. I, I am stronger than all of you guys. I can protect you. I can, I can save you guys. And so through what, whatever their concept of election process is, they all got on board and they all voted and they all elected this, this bear. And sure enough, boy, he was good. He, he, he could tell people, you know, let's do this and, or let me do it for you and, I, and he'll do it, yeah. But as time went on, the bear, well, kind of, kind of got his bearings a little differently, and he became a little mean. How come you're not doing that? Why are you guys doing it? I'm gonna, you know, he became a little mean to everybody, and everybody didn't like him. And so the people back, got back together and said, "Let's, I think we need a new leader." And so they had another election, and there came forward another leader, and and his name was Nashtutso meaning the, the, the uh, uh, mountain lion. And he says, all of you know me. You know that I can do things really fast. I can outrun anybody here. You know that. If, if there's a job to be done, I can do it faster than anybody else. And so everybody says, yeah, yeah, let's, let's have him be our leader because we can get things done. And so he was elected. And it went four time, and then all of a sudden the, the mountain lion, everybody saw him, he just go to the tree and he just sleep all day long. <laughs> he was lazy. And everybody kept saying, I thought you were fast. I thought you were gonna do this for him. No, no, don't bother me. I, I got to rest, you know. <clears throat> well, because he's laziness, people decided this is not the kind of leader we want. And then there was an, two more, two more uh, animals that came forward. One was the, one was a reptile, one, one was a peach snake. The other one was a bobcat. And they were going neck to neck, you know, they're, oh man, I want to be the leader. Or the leader. And all of a sudden, somehow, they, even before they were elected, these two got into a, a fight, physical fight, you know. And there's, uh, so strong was the fight that, that the bobcat was losing and the peach was winning. And finally, the people just pulled them apart and said, this is not what we want in a leader. You know, you shouldn't fight. And so they finally decided, OK, uh, let's let's. And, and several other people went through this leadership role. But each one of them were they're not quite there. So the people said, you know what, we we lean on spiritual things. We lean on the what we call the holy people or the father of all. We have special people that can help us. We, want, well, we should go to them. At first they went to the medicine man because the medicine man knew quite a bit about way of thinking and way things should be. And, 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 and the medicine man, they said, um, let's go to holy people. So they went to the holy people and the holy people got together and they said, we'll, te we'll teach you. And it says, if anybody wants to be a leader, they have to follow these things. Number one, they have to know who they are, spiritual way, spiritual self. 
because he knows and they know everything around them. This person has to know their language, their culture, their history, their everything about as much as possible. Especially they need to know about uh, the sacred mountains are full of wisdom and knowledge and plants and all good things. This is your leader needs to know the, these things. And lastly, we want you to follow and listen to what we call the small air. Some people today, when they speak, they say, there's a still small voice that seems to gnaw at me, telling me something. You, you should do this, you should do this. So every single person, every single person has a little nilche on their shoulder. And if you learn how to listen to that, that person would be like your teacher, your trainer, your coach, your everything. It's like an energy that you have. If you get to know that, feel that person, you know how to connect with that person. And so, and so the holy people said, if your leader knows about the Nilchir and listens to Nilchir you'll always have a good leader. So from that day forward, people try to honor somebody that's running for office, they would try to say, we got to have somebody that understands who they are. And they listen to the small spirit. All right. So anyway, I wanted to share this idea with you that we are spiritual giants. We are on a path. We are warriors. When I say warriors, that means you have a way to overcome every obstacle everything that might come in your way either by yourself <clears throat> with your family with your spouse with your team with your community with your nation or with the swirl everybody can have a way to help one another and so that was the reason why i wanted to share these things with you from here <clears throat> we get a chance to go back and say, now that I've emerged, I now know what's on Mother Earth, which is this, this sacred mountain, six sacred mountains. I now know what's up in the heavens that I, I am. These are my relatives, the, the water, the fire, the air, the, uh, um, the mountains. These, these four big areas, because you can't live without water, because you really can't get your freeze if you don't have the fire, because you, you have to have air to breathe. And because you have to have uh, things, your physical self to, to be able to move and do things with your hands. And so those become very special things to you. And so on this earth, earth surface, if we have a base, we can live in this world and we call it Hojrongo'ina. And every morning when we get up and at least in our prayers, all the holy people that were around us, we can say, thank you, thank you. This day, I want this to be Hojrongo'ina. And when you pray, 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 all of a sudden at the end, we can say, I'm there. I got Hojanahastli, 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 Hojanahastli. Peace has come to me. Love has come to me. Joy has come to me. Balance of life has come to me. This makes Hojanahastli Inna. And so we, we take that same wheel and we can say, every morning, my thoughts can connect to the and we can be stronger throughout the day because can give us that way of planning. We will learn things that we never learned before and we call it. 
and we can become a leader. That's where the word uh, leader comes from, not Ani, it comes from, from this word, not. We can become a leader in things like uh, growing things or making things with our hands or food or the yoga, or just working with animals, all kinds of ways. Of course, nowadays there's all this electronic stuff. Once we think and once we plan, we become connectors. This is a connection area here. This is Ina, Ina. When my dad, I was so excited about having a little baby and I said, Do we, I'll get to go to that, tell my, my, my dad. So I went to my dad and my dad, I said, you know, to my wife and I. And his voice was so clear. That's what you call a gift. That's what you have. That's that's the most cherished, most most awesome. You know, the the, the the most valuable thing that you can ever have is caring for a little one. Is having a little one. It's raising a little one. It's life is precious and it could be an animal. It could be a, a new family member. It could be, you know, your, your vehicle or things that are around you. Ina. And then, and then it goes back to the uh, a feeling of faith, a feeling of hope, a feeling of satisfaction, a feeling that everything is so anyway, this is the presentation I wanted to share with you. Uh, does anybody have any thoughts or questions? I, I, I would love to hear what you're thinking about. Um, any thoughts, Brenda? Or a question, if you want to type a question in, that's fine too, I'll be uh, and one of the reasons why I wanted to share this with you is because I'm asked by Monument Valley Elementary, uh, Tebbi Disca Elementary principal. She says, I, I've, I'm brand new. I, I, I would uh, like... Oh, okay, go ahead. Uh, All right. Elementary. Elementary. Um, uh, and support of education, you know, I wonder where, you know, the disconnect is for our, you know, it's there, why you teach, oh, it's there, it's, it's not like, there's no way out, there is a way. Uh-huh. So, the, so there's the, the, the three things that I talk about at the beginning, one, you have to understand, like, things of your culture, yeah. The next thing is you begin to practice some of those things that you learn. And so you find out for yourself individually that that works, that works. There's a reason why in some case, not says and is there. When I really understand it and when I begin to follow, then the third, the third, kick, the third thing kicks in. And that is how do I give it? How do I give back the knowledge that I receive? And that's probably where you're talking about the young people, yeah. We have to figure out a way how to yeah. come to the school system. And that's where we share. So how anyway, to make that connection. How yeah. to make that connection to reconnect, you know, reignite because we're losing our in many ways and education and culture and language and how can we, I mean, when I try, it's just like, why, 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 <laughs> you know, like my, my, my daughter has a chihuahua and I'm like, you can't have a chihuahua in your house. They uh -huh. try the whole one that, and the Mr. Chase, like, he, should, he should, that little dog shouldn't be in your bed. And why, why, you know, I'm like, and I'm trying to explain and it's like, can you just understand why, you know, but it's not, they won't accept it. That's the hard part that disconnect is there right now. Yeah. So um, I try to learn things, not just in the culture, but in the research that's going on that talks about how to be better person or a leader or uh, it, 
in there, uh, some people that are kind of like psychic people, they talk about vibrations, yeah. When we connect with people, we, we, we have to be on the same wavelength. And when we are, then we can communicate better, uh, whatever it is. Even a, an animal like you're training a horse or something, you, you, you have that same wavelength. When that happens, then you can connect with each other and, and you can do things to help each other. And so that's the same way with our young people, I think. You know, uh, I, the, one of the reasons why I teach online is because it's the young people's culture. And those young people love to open up their little gadgets and see or touch. And, 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 and I say, let's, let's somehow bring those two together. And so when I train like this, I'm, I'm able to say, do you understand? Do you, you know, and they come, they come. Like tomorrow I'll, I'll be doing language class. And so I have people come. Or every year I, I have a Navajo one, Navajo two and government class. And these are kids that are outside the reservation. Salt Lake, New York, wherever. AD, they, they, they're able to come and say, thank you, thank you. I now know how to kind of think and speak the language, you know, slowly. I mean, it's the beginning, but it's there. So, yeah. Anything, Meredith? Not right now. I'm just enjoying listening. Thanks Very for good. doing this. Yeah. Uh, I do, uh, I'm thinking that CL is Charlotta. Any thoughts? Oh, um, thank you for the presentation, Clay. Njunia, ado tani. Oh, it's this um, progression that we all get to experience here on Earth is a wonderful thing. Um, education, growing, learning, um, adopting new ideas, or even just learning more about our culture is important. So, thank you so much for preserving what you know and with the rest of us. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, I, um, I'm, I'm glad you guys came in. I, uh, it, this is kind of like an overall picture of what I want to continue to work with. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm working with uh, Monument Valley Elementary School. And there, they're saying things like, yeah, I talk to the students, but can you also talk to the mom and dad? <laughs> and, and can you also talk to the teachers? And let's go beyond that. Can you talk to the community leaders? And so when I'm doing a presentation, I always want to include all those people. And so uh, this, this video clip that I did, uh, I think Sunday, it was on this idea here, you know, believe in yourself and always move, move so you can change, you know, for the better and connect with people. Don't be shy, just connect, start talking, start learning, start, and then also feel there's something inside you that talks to you, feel, you know? So I wanna get down to the children's level, yet at the same time, the mom and dad's level, and then at the same time, community leaders level. At some point, we'll all get the same picture, yeah, same ideas. And so that's where we want to go. And that's how we begin to help the whole group. And, and so I'll be continuing to do video clips that would that would help anyone that wants to learn yeah all righty i i i i think i think that the spirit is where we connect with each other on a special way and i don't know we're not we're not all head heavy or all heart heavy or emotional or whatever but the spirit is kind of a steady is is strength that we're just we're, we're, we're our real self is. And when we, when we connect at our spiritual level, we can really feel each other's hearts and head, mm -hmm. love and all that stuff. All right. So anyway, I, I will kind of uh, stop.